Hey guys, welcome to Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Metro Last Light Redux on the PlayStation 4, also available on the Xbox One and the PC. These are basically remastered versions of the original Metro games, more so for the consoles than the actual PC, because obviously the right patches and settings that you could PC look as good as this if not better depending on what your settings are but since this runs on a different engine there's actually different things that this game does differently like the first metro actually on pc actually had this effect where if you shot the gun in the dark it would actually um give off quick shadows and stuff like that and the new redux version of the pc version doesn't have that so all around, it's a better version. We're going to play Last Light because I I haven't finished it. And um, I really would like to, if I have the ability anyway. Um, and I finished Metro 2033. I'll get back to that sometime later. I also have the 360 version that was graciously donated by Vinny Corleone 62. You might know him as Dean or from Escape to Gaming. I did the PS3 version of Metro Last Light, the original. I still need to do a version of the Xbox 360. You will never see me do any PC version, at least that I can think of in any amount of time, because I think my PC would probably blow up if I tried to run any of these games in the low settings. This runs at 60 frames per second on a completely new engine. This version metro 2033 redux actually uses a lot of the mechanics from last light which is really good it makes the game a lot more fun and fixes a lot of issues about it on the consoles um which was for 2033 it was only available on the xbox 360 console wise but this came on both consoles which is cool so more people could play it and they fix the mechanics to feel more like Battlefield or Call of Duty, but the 60 frames per second makes a huge difference. I remember spending a lot more time trying to finish Metro 2033, like with the regular survival mechanics at the original game versus the last light mechanic. So you can still pick the old mechanics, maybe not to the way it controls, but where it's more survival based. But I, I especially if you're new to the series, I highly recommend um, playing the game on the revamped, I guess, redux settings. I forgot what they called it. But anyway, let's get started. You don't want to hear me ramble the whole time without gameplay to entertain you at the same time. I'm wearing headphones, so I have no idea how I sound. So Metro 2033 is based on, I'm going to butcher his name, but there it is for you, is based on a novel, and Metro Last Light, since the sequel novel, at the time Last Light came out, it wasn't even translated into English, but the developers felt like the second book couldn't really be made into a game, so um, this game was actually and the story for the game was actually made exclusively for the game but metro 2033 is actually a novel and i think now the second book's translated so you have to look it up on wikipedia and let me know you can educate my ass that sounded wrong you can educate me unfortunately since we're um streaming it's not going to look as good as the real thing, but I promise you, this game looks fantastic. 2033 looks really good too, but since it's this newer game, this has like better textures and a little bit better lighting and stuff, but don't let that turn you off. These are both fantastic looking titles, and if you don't have a next-gen console, don't let the 30 frames or not advanced physics throw you off i would start with last light just because it's probably going to be the easiest for you to get into and if you really like last light then try 2033 the only thing about last light that i would warn is it kind of tells the story of the first game but if you can get past that definitely try last light if you don't have access to like a 
newer console like the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One or even the PC. But um, to me, this is the better playing game. But in this um, actual compilation, I mean, you get both games for for the price of one game and most retailers are selling it for ten dollars less than the price of a new game so absolutely one of the best deals that you can get that and um the last of us 2 is an excellent deal but you probably played the last of us i i wish this game and sells more so i want to encourage you to buy this game over the last of us because Last of Us is going to sell no matter what. I really want to see this new franchise succeed. There's so many good franchises that just don't make it. And I want to see this one succeed. It's really cool. And the whole post-apocalyptic thing is really, really kind of in now. So, um, yeah. So, it's, it's good to see, like, a newer vision of the apocalypse and stuff like that. Especially from a European standpoint, and based on folklore and whatnot. And I'm running my mouth so much to the point the game told me just to shut up by basically doing the little intro thing. Let's continue. The subterranean Venice, an island in the dark waters of I actually really like the music in this game as well. It's a beautiful game. About this place. I hear it is all one huge I forgot this game had nudity in it. I apologize. I hope this isn't the part, but it looks like it is. He's still here. Finding the dark one is still my main mission. But now I see I must also uncover Corbett's plans so that I can warn the order about them. It's fake nudity though if it's there. So I guess you're only going to see the 60 frame, I mean the 30 frames of the 60 frame game. And this game, if you're used to playing survival horror games like the old Resident Evils, you'll feel right at home. Except this has like Call of Duty physics instead of tank controls. But even though like it's a little bit more lenient, like I would definitely check every nook and cranny. And if you push um, L1 on the PlayStation 4 controller, you have like your little menu. Use this to charge your lights and stuff like that. Also, if you have a pneumatic weapon, like you have a gauge, but I don't have a pneumatic weapon. This is your air meter. So if you there's um, radioactive levels that you can't breathe in or areas, you um. Let me kill this asshole. Alright, back to just telling you how the game is. Um, if there's a radiated levels, you have to wear a gas mask. Or else you're pretty much doomed. So, one of the main things you want to do is look for filters and, of course, ammo. But, the game's pretty generous with that. I remember playing Metro 2033 on the Xbox 360 and that part was more challenging I would also highly suggest you silence all your weapons I'm kind of playing carelessly right now, as you might tell. Where from? Why would I know? Just take care. Ah! I don't know why I'm wasting my time. Why he doesn't? Why is he not using his AK-47? I haven't played this stuff for a while in favor of Destiny. Which is stupid on my part. I love Destiny 2, but I really want to finish this game because I like it a lot. They've been kind of my two current favorite PlayStation 4 games, and I still need to finish the 
newer version of The Last of Us. You also have a light. If you didn't notice what that light bulb thing was. The textures are really nice. But this is the newer of the games. This one would obviously look better since it's in the newer game. You can also switch to um, military grade bullets. but And they're more powerful. But keep in mind, military... Military grade bullets are also your currency, so they actually function as your money too. That's why there's a block of gold beside it. In Metro 2033, you really can get past these parts of the game as easily. This is less forgiving. You have recharging health, but in this game it recharges really slow, so it's just an option if you're like in a corner. There's a lot of environmental destructibility in this particular area of the game. This game's kind of selective where it is, but it definitely makes sense with the wooden crates. Also, not only check cabinets and boxes and stuff, make sure you check the, um, the actual people and steal their money like a real scavenger would. Unfortunately, you come to these crossroads sometimes where people have nothing but shotguns. My favorite personal weapon in this game is the AK-47. And probably the flamethrower. Although, I don't know if the flamethrower is in this one. I'm sure it must be. I can't remember if the flamethrower was in this or 2033. This game has good shadows. First, I didn't think you um, cast at your own shadows. It's just a little bit more subtle than um, what the other players cast. It's not really a big deal. It doesn't take you out of the immersion. I was just surprised as strong as their shadows were in this engine, but it's really not a big deal. I mean, there's so much detail in this game. If you look at the reflex scope, Hopefully you can see it on Twitch, you actually can see the numbers. It's just something I point, I'm pointing out, it's not a nitpicky thing, it's just... I try to point out everything when I do these videos. Because I mean, some things might be more important than others. Really all you need to know is an excellent game and it already should be in your library in any form, but... This are the PC version, if you have a decent PC, is the way to go. He shot me with a shotgun pretty far away, I'm not too worried. I don't usually use my grenades unless I absolutely have to. Everybody has a freaking shotgun in this area. There, finally, some AK bullets. But yeah, the AK-47 is probably, in my opinion, the best gun in the game. Unless you're fighting monsters, then the shotgun I have with the revolving... I don't I don't even know what you I don't know guns but the revolving I guess you would call it a barrel that works quite nice it takes a while for you to get it in this game but once you got it it, it works pretty well hands behind your head whoa whoa 
well, well, what an unexpected encounter. Looking for the dark one? Huh? Oh, maybe this game a has a lot of twists and turns. But, um, you're too late. Yeah. Those dark ones of yours are the real deal, yeah? Comrade Corbett had an eye on them for a long time. Just imagine them domesticated, then unleashed on the enemy. <laughs> Hey, 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 steady, steady, steady now. All right. Yeah, I was like wondering, and I was like, I just basically massacred a whole army. Right? Well, he's nearby. And he's like getting held up by a gun. You have my word. Everyone on the ground now! Artyom? No! It's a wall made door. Don't they always? Why did you attack the storage alone? You could have tried to call me. Well, things worked out. But I guess I don't have cell now. phones by now. I need to, to turn off here. my light. There's a swamp. And recharge it. Let's go. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Well, that's what it looks like when you wear your gas mask. And if you get hit a lot, it cracks over time. But I think the only consequence that it really, really has is like it makes it harder to see. You also can wipe your gas mask if you get shit on it. Like if you tap L1 like that. But I'll take it off. I don't want to waste all my gas mask ability. You see the meter now I'm charged up all the way. It's pretty much the same concept when you use the pneumatic weapons like the flamethrower. And then there's this rod gun that you can pump. Put this on. I rarely use it. a pretty cool suit with a pretty nifty nozzle attached to it. That watch has a very expandable wristband. You can see your watch pretty good, but if you want to push the digital pad up, I guess you can look at it. I actually sell some catalog. I forgot what they call that kind of lighting. You guys can educate me in the comments. I just can't think of it offhand. But they actually there have watches like that. They're super expensive that church. actually show the numbers digitally about, like that. But whatever that kind of lighting is, contact. it's kind of expensive to make. I guess. To and I like these little journal there. entries. You actually can play this game completely without a HUD if you don't want to. I'm kind of playing on what I feel like in the normal setting is. The harder that you want the game and the harder you want the game, like you just set it at harder settings, like really? I'll show you a trick Here in a is. second. The swamp. The base is right across the chart. Awful swampy. There's a powered winch ferry. It needs fuel. You should be able to get some in the plane or in the cache at the gas station. I don't want to tell you the story of the Stay game because it's kind of interesting. Fuel. Actually, it's interesting. Well, that's all. I don't want Good to be luck, modest Adrian. about it, but I just want to show you what the game's like. That'd be the Steve Benway thing to say, I guess. Here's a trick that I didn't even know about until after I beat Metro. If you hold your lighter up like this, it shows you where your objective is. Cause if you go this way, you see the smoke still going in that direction. Now it's blowing in my face. Or you can just use your compass. Whatever works for you best. Here I trust my um, shotgun a little bit more than anything else. When you first get a shotgun, it's like a double barrel, so... It works good, but... After two bullets, there's that waiting period. Huh. Unless those textures didn't load in, that's almost like PlayStation 2 quality. 
compared to Lee's. Maybe they did accidentally missed it. I mean, it's still commendable about what they did. You know, if I was educated enough in the ways of game making, there'd probably be a few areas I would miss too. So, you can't walk in water like I just did. It's not good. There's some weird beast in the water. It's much, see, it's much better to have this gun, although it takes quite some time to reload it. But what do you expect? And you can wipe the blood off your mask. I'm glad they maxed out my damn shotgun shells. Feeling I'm gonna have to shoot him from the side or try to go around him. Yep, that's what I had to do. See, now my ma gas mask is getting cracked a little bit. Make sure you keep an eye on your timer, which I should check which way I need to go. Stop dilly daddling. This car looks like I could jump on it. Here we go. Yeah, I couldn't believe how fast I beat the first met, and I'm not bragging, I mean, I didn't play it on hard or anything. But compared to the first time I played it, when I played it in survivor mode or whatever the default mode of the first game is. Why am I wasting on that? They kind of remind me of hermit crabs when they come out of the shell. So it's, it's unexpected hermit crabs have that worm body if you ever seen them during the shell, but I guess it makes sense that they can fit in the shell. I don't know what to name you, so I'm just gonna nickname you a hermit crab. I know I'm, I'm really being creative here. I made it so my actual physical controller beeps too when I have one more minute of air left. Which actually comes in handy if you're not paying attention. So not only the game beeps, you have the controller beeping too. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, but I'm scared about what parts of this area are deep and what parts aren't. Yes, free stuff. I really like the effect where, like, the blue flies go on you. These guys are a bitch. I wouldn't waste any decent ammo on them. I meant to use my pistol, but whatever. Yeah, they function like the first game. The first game, you just hit them once, like so. The water doesn't look deep unless that's a log, but I think it's a person. Uh, I don't want to go in the horrible water. What a terrible wasteland this is. I was at the store and the guy's like, there's no better design wasteland than Fallout 3, which I think it's an incredible game, but... I think from a realism point of view, even though there's monsters and everything, I think this is more full realized. To me, it has better atmosphere, but I'm not picking on Fallout. I like that game a lot, too. I like the New Vegas one as well. I would love to see what they would do like with a new engine. I'm really afraid to go to that gas station because of that creepy thing. I think it's a gas station. Sometimes there's far worse apocalyptic scenarios than zombies. You don't know what's alive or what's real. I mean, what's not alive. I don't know what I'm saying. 
I gotta hurry up and make some sort of decision here. How's my air is gonna be quite limited? Ah! You see a lot of ghostly kind of apparition things here. It's kind of a weird world. But I like it. It has a different flavor than like your typical American made post apocalyptic game. There's nothing quite like it that I've seen at least. I think this same developers made um I can't even think of Was it called Shadows of Chernobyl? Probably something similar than that, and I can't really remember. I recently turned 30, so I'm gonna blame it on age. I'm gonna die. I do not want to get hit by those things. I don't even want them touching me. They're gross. It's like a bug with a bloodworm mouth. I don't want to be exposed to that. Wipe that shit off of my mask before it like burns a hole through it. I don't know if that will actually happen. How do I get to the other side? I'm sorry guys, I have the comments turned off, but it takes up almost half the screen. I don't have a PC to look at the other half. Oh, this is foolish. Yeah. I knew. I was hoping the water might be shallow. Fortunately, it is not. But I gotta get there somehow. Maybe there's a freaking log or something. I gotta do something fast. Even on the easier mode of this game. Maybe he'll take me to the other side, but usually they kill you instantly. Already helped me out. All oh, the wasteland's little surprises, I tell you. No, I didn't mean to do that. It just all looks so similar. Because of the grass, and I'm colorblind. Damn it. Stop walking into that shit. No. If you can't guess, that thing killed me. <sighs> the game's loading times are really nice on this as well. You really don't have to wait all that long to start up again. Nothing's worse than really getting into a game and then having to wait a half an hour to get back to the game. It's a real issue I had with like old Sega CD games. A lot of the games are like that. Get away from me, you freaking fucked a hermit crab. These totally would like be right at home in the Half-Life universe. Alright, I gotta figure something out. What the hell was that? Oh, I know it. That was a freaking booby trap. This is a nice gun too, and I believe it uses the same ammo as the AK-47, unfortunately, until I can upgrade it. It is not going to be silenced. I'm not going to give up my freaking... I'll give up this gun before I give up my shotgun. I'll read that. Oh, come on. Where do I gotta go? It's so hard for me, personally, to see. 
This is probably the best machine gun. But I still like the AK-47 better, especially once I upgrade it. That gun will be better once it's upgraded. My um, filter just be letting me know that I'm about to run out of air in one minute. Not really what you want to hear. Well, I survived that time. Get me out of this wasteland. Already been here. Why does it always say the way I don't want to go? Maybe this is telling me the water is shallow here. No. I guess he was just loading. Alright, I'm gonna probably run out of air before anything like that happens. Maybe if I go around, it's so hard to tell, for me at least, what I can walk on and what I can't. I think I saw a path leading to the other side. Are, are those little markers? If so, that is super helpful. Thank you, people, whoever did that. It's the little things that people do that kind of count and help you out. Yep, it's solid. No flamethrower for me, I guess. Oh shit, I've been suffocating this whole time. I forgot to change my filter. Alright, it says I, could, I should walk on this sturdy log that doesn't seem that sturdy at all. Alright. I don't know where we're going with this. Seems like it makes me want to walk around everything, or that's what it wants me to do, but... This looks useful. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Don't tell me I have to bring the gas can over here. Is there another button I can press? Maybe if I could just push it a lot. Set. This is gonna be close on if if I actually make it somehow. Step on the log of impending doom. And where was that gas? Looks like there might be supplies in here. I think I should run or do something to get out of the way. Where the hell is that log? Oh man. Where was that machine thing? Anything here I can use? Oh, light. Give myself more attention. That'll work. I think I'm going backwards. This sucks. Alright. Yeah, I remember going across this, probably in the opposite direction. Go here. Probably going backwards. No! 
Listen to me, negative Nancy here. Yes, we have power. And we're probably distracting every living organism known to man. How do you make it go? Does it go on its own? What's going on here? We got puke monsters. Every terrible thing that you could ever think of is against me right now. I can't even see. Now would be a smart time to use a med pack, but I'm super stingy when it comes to supplies. You know, as much as I don't want to use this. Hope I didn't blow up the thing that I'm waiting for, whatever that thing might be. Take a med pack. You know how I love me some drugs in the wasteland. Gosh dang it. What are you guys made out of? Wasteland cells. That was the worst stupid joke ever. Um, anything gonna come? Please don't tell me all this time I should have. Oh, he doesn't look friendly. Did he ricochet bullets or was I just that unlucky? That machine really upsets him. I'm not quite sure what it does. Except puts me underwater when I jump there. Uh damn it. Okay. I almost feel like my filth is at least in my worries. I'm using up all my supplies so bad. You guys all get to see it live though. So you got that. Did it do what it was supposed to? Yes. Get me out of here, please. All right, this goes as fast as, I guess, my first Toyota. Loved it to death, though. It's so nerdy, I put two Ghostbuster decals on the side of the car. I might have to replay that one again. Now I know what I'm supposed to do. Send her wandering around like an idiot. This looks gloomy. This is straight out of a Tim Burton flick. Well, that helps a little bit. It reminded me of the uh, movie Sleepy Hollow, the atmosphere of it. Are a lot of Tim Burton flicks, I guess. Oh, you're my best friend to the end. Now if we could get some shotgun shells going on. I don't care about you. Excuse me. Uh, where are we going? Hopefully not where that thing is. Straight. Thing tells us to go straight. 
I don't completely trust it. So far, we've learned that there's always some way around that I usually have to figure out. Give me that filter. I want it. Does this thing work still, or is it just a relic from the past? Well, get me off of it if it doesn't work. Oh, a corpse. I didn't even notice it was there. That was kind of creepy. Once they emit smell-o-vision, you could have definitely picked it up, because I'm sure that thing was probably quite rank. Although you couldn't smell because he's got a gas mask on. Never mind, scratch that. I never personally use a gas mask, maybe you can smell, but I think that would beat the whole purpose unless there's like some super advanced gas mask. Why am I rambling on about gas masks? Watch out for these things at all costs. They will mess you up. Yes, I read you. You never know if you're hallucinating this game, I'll tell you that. Night vision goggles. What's cool about those is you actually can recharge them with your charger. Okay. I probably need to charge my light or not. No, it's just an indicator of radiation. Forty-five seconds. You gotta be kidding me. That's all I have left. And here I was thinking those filters were gonna help me out hardcore. Ah, uh, get me out of this marsh swamp thing place. The sound in the background is warning me of probably terrible things to come. Ah, uh, solid ground. I'm. I was hoping it was solid. It looked solid. It looked like um, asphalt, but never can be too sure. I don't know why, with that screaming and seeing that car, even though it's not the same kind of car, it made me think of National Lampoon's Vacation. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there. R.A.M. now that he's not chilling there anymore. It's not like I can do anything to hurt him. At least I don't think I can. Make sure you pick these little glow stick looking bombs up. They're amazing. Great, not another one of these moments where you gotta risk your life and fight a billion of these things. So one negative thing I have to say about this game is I hate these little parts where you gotta fight hordes of any type of creature. I don't mind the people. I don't know why, the horde things kinda annoy me for some reason. Probably cause they can run faster than me. Alright, use my... 1 minute and 57 second time limit. Man, I hope wherever I'm headed, there's a bunch of filters. Oh, shit. On a stick. Hopefully he can't maneuver that well. No, he just busts right through him. Apparently he can maneuver through that shit quite well. Please, yes, right direction. Just run like a mad person. No sane person would put themselves to this. Or at least I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily call myself sane, I don't know. No self-deprecating right now. Come on. Oh shit. Don't go past that. Alright. 
Oh, cute. A little fire. Does that fire happen to have supplies in it? No. Come on, I'm running low on time. That's one thing about this game, I'm telling you, it stresses you out when you get the... Get these time limits close when you're about to run out of air. Once you're out of air, it, you're done. Watch out for those trip wires, I'm telling you. Oh, yes. One of those things. Two of those filters will be best friends. Uh, I don't care about that. Just deer. Yeah, I ran over a trip wire. How ingenious of me. Oh, I gotta go outside again. Well, please be full of filters. Everything except what I want. How about here? Yes. Where is she? Get me out of this hell hole. This outside area is probably literally more hellish than anything I've seen in Metro 2033, in my opinion, so far. This game might top it. It looks cool though, and it's very atmospheric, and it fits for the atmosphere, but man. Is it stressful with the gas mask time? You can't drive the truck? What do you mean? Oh, that looked like I could go into it. Where is she? Crying out loud. Oh, there. Man, I am blind. But oh, yeah, I'm coming. I'm not trying to stay here. Of course you'd show up. Why wouldn't the weird glowy frog monster try Let's hit the big one with what? It's like shooting it with the damn nerf gun. Shit. Apparently that killed me. Maybe they'll give me some more time. Alright, I see some light. And I need to change my filter, I think. How much time do I got? I'm gonna save her every last second. So do I go around? I forgot how I got there. Short term memory's a bitch. Alright, no! I did not mean to do that. I'm wasting precious time. Come on, man. Get over here. Come on, yeah. move it! I'm probably gonna need to change that filter. Oh, hell's gonna break loose. Get away from me. Is it dead? No. This gun has a decent firing rate, I'll give it that. Not really. Helping me out all that much. I'm running out of ammo here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Thank goodness. Fuck. So close, but so far. I don't want to use my currency, but I don't know what choice I have. Of course they are. I 
I'll buy me some time. And door number three or whatever number door that is. Seems like every time I jump in the water, it leads me right to where I'm supposed to go. I don't know if it's wise. Was it wise? Or is he? Switch those for sure. I need the fiery ones. Come on, move it. Yeah, I know. He's gonna pop up, and then I'm gonna be like, ah. Hell, probably. Okay. Now that I got this. Burn you. Whatever you are. Don't knock me in the water. It's a real not nice. It's right on top of me. Oh man, this is stressful. Yeah, I'm trying to kill the big one. Only kidding the damn thing with everything I got. Yeah, have fun. Med kit, injection, stab. I'm worried. They're worried about the small fries. Here I am. Risking my life. I missed. Son of a bitch. I think I saw some stairs. Right where. They always look dead and then... Um, I'm out of air. I can't survive on the wasteland. Okay. It's not dead yet. Oh my god. I'm gonna suffocate. He's gonna die around the same time I will. We're gonna try this one last time. I might have to start this chapter again. I waste a lot of gas filters. Swap your filter. Okay. I found some. Is there anything else I can use around here? Open up. Yeah. I have no idea how much time that buys me. Let's see. Oh, none at all. Oh, great. And I can't get it back. How much time do I have? I got three minutes and 29 seconds. Pull off a miracle. And I'm gonna jump like a man, man, or I don't know. Oh, that didn't help. Usually, when I jump in the water, it helps. It didn't this time though. I don't have time for this. And I got it eaten by that crocodile or alligator in Lake Placid, whatever species it was. I said this was going to be the last time, but I lied. I'm determined. We're waiting for you at the church. Well, I appreciate you waiting for me. Fortunately, since I've died several times, I know what awaits.
He doesn't seem as out of breath with this on. Which could be good, but I shouldn't spend too much time in here hoping I'm gonna find something. Like a filter. Should have spent all my time here. Who am I kidding? Alright. Now for World War Three. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Even though I'm wasting precious time, I'm just trying to get an idea of this place. Yeah, that definitely looks like my mass. Oh, I just gotta follow this poorly designed contraption. Please don't yell at me. I'm about to be attacked by the largest thing that I've seen in this game. Let me switch to the fire ones. Set some mines down. Put one here. They don't, hopefully they don't like mines. Hopefully, now I'm an idiot because I'm scared that they're going to blow up on my account. Hopefully that's not the case. Oh, feast on that. Have fun. Give me those. Yes, I agree. Let's finish it. Oh, you're burning alive. Let me reload my gun. Yeah, I got it. Kill the big one. I'm on it. Good. Let him get away. Get me out of this hellhole. I got air to spare. And I just made a rhyme. Just don't go in that damn water. Alright. Watch. I'm gonna trip over my own claymore mine. Wouldn't that be something? Great to see you. Get inside. It's safe in there. I've never Come been so in. happy to see you guys before. Come on, get inside. Don't waste your filters. I had you sighted when you were way out there. Almost shot you, too. <laughs> that would teach you to answer radio hails. But I, well, I felt it was you. I hope you'll forgive me for the gardens. That's awfully nice of you. For some reason, I was genuinely glad to see Anna, my pain-in-the-ass partner. She finally stopped those wicked jokes of hers. Looks like she's ashamed of having left her partner at the battlefield. Yeah, that would kind of be something you should be ashamed of. But we're not here to judge. Ooh, mood I didn't lighting. seriously before, but Hunter, he read you right from the start. He put his trust in you. No, it's bad. It me time. I should be grateful and just looking for supplies action, to steal. I almost got you killed. <laughs> you yeah, you did. It's easy for me, Artyom. I'll stop for now. Go on and get ready. The guys are coming soon, and we're all going to Aktiabriskaya. I'll leave it to you to pronounce all those Russian places. Filters, please. Let's 
instead of playing papers, please, or playing filters, please. Ha, ah, a bad joke again. I'm full of them. I'm full of them and full of it. It meaning shit if you're not familiar with the term. There's some currency and still no filters. A traveling gun merchant stopped here for the night, so you could take a look at his merchandise. That's a great idea, girly. Help an old man survive these troubled times. Buy some so, guns. So, what's going on? Stalker team is on the move. Should be here within the hour. Great. I'd like gun upgrades. Probably need. A lot of ammunition since I used most of it. Sanya, what's going on in the air? How's the international <laughs> situation? Uh, let's For see here. Years, nothing but static. Then last month I got Saint Peter. I'm gonna miss you, AK-47. Somebody flew over there with a plane. But I'm gonna trade you in. Caused a real commotion. Ah, uh, that's all. Or what do you hear from New York and London? Uh, pistol. <laughs> I don't know about London, but there's this city up north. Customize. There's a nuclear Put a silencer on it. I to it. Install. Well, yes, I would like that a lot. But I still held the fort. You're a great liar, Sonia. <laughs> you could write plays about miserable life. Ten minutes to Bolshoi. Put the reflex sight on it. It's almost as good as the AK-47. Actually, it's probably better. And customize this silencer on it. Well, yes, I would like that. I really don't want a laser since I really can't see it that well due to my color blindness. This looks good. Now, how about ammo? Where do I get that from? Okay. Secondary. Um, I would like some of these. The incendiaries are dangerous, but they sure do burn stuff well. Yeah, I will agree with you on that one. I'm gonna buy as these much are handmade, as but are still good enough. this as I can. Fill the rest with shock. These shells are top shell. class. Made them myself. Really, Bye, man. I really would like some filters though. Hopefully, you guys will hook me up at some point. Oh well, let's just get going. Have you ever been to the catacombs? Only once. Really old church catacombs. I really like the no detail of the church people. doors and the they even survived the old paintings on the wall. Some people from the church hid here during the war, but. They just, they just disappeared. Could have gone to the main metro tunnels, or well, people say things. These know? barrels look like they've had you better the days. Big mama? Who might that be? Well, our guys are fast. Check it out, just in case. Password: Rod Block. That's an old one. I know that voice. <laughs> Shit, they can't place it. Wait a minute. Could it be Wisnitsky? That's a big explosion. I don't think I have anything in my arsenal to top that. Oh great. Oh. You damn traitor. Anna, what a surprise. I've only I'm had like no 15 minutes of experience and I care about her no getting shot or no. if she gets shot no. more than I do with a lot of characters. That's saying a lot about this game. It's very immersive, I would say. Imagine in a game like this when you have a happy moment, it's just preparing you for something not so great. How many filters do I have? Oh, none. Lucky me. Missed that AK-47. We had some good times. 
probably should be a little bit more quiet. Speaking of reds, it looks like there's blood everywhere. You know, because blood's red. Not. Oh, this, I like the little rats. They look cool. Nobody's wearing a gas mask. Man, I hope I don't have to go anywhere. I don't know why. I just feel obligated to light spider webs on fire. Although, these don't seem to be lighting on fire. Maybe they're not spider webs. I know who these are. What the hell is going on? Am I about to have an acid flashback or something? I love how weird this world is. Oh, I can light the torches. How convenient. That looks booby trappish. Like something from Raiders of the Lost Ark booby trappish. Oh, I'll find out if I get crushed by it. Oh, is there anything I can use in here? No. No, there is not. Oh, ghost flashbacks. That must mean we're close to something creepy and controversial. Let me light this shit on fire. In the first game, if you walked through, like, any kind of apparition, it actually hurt you. I have no idea what the effects they do in this game. Wow, that looked cool. Now, how do I get this thing going? It's like the basket of a hot air balloon. Damn it. I missed some supplies over there. And this thing's teasing me because it's going down really slow to let me know that I screwed up. Some horrible noises going on as we enter the depths of hell. Oh, you guys, don't tell me you guys are going to be part of this. Damn, how many bullets do you take? So much for these surround headphones. Get off of me, piece of shit. Next one of you isn't going to be so lucky. As if being a terrible beast is lucky in general. Yeah, I don't know how many I can handle on that. Thank you, quickly tap button. You can get shot with a shotgun, but apparently getting stabbed with a knife is like way more powerful. Just for atmosphere, I'm gonna put on my light, make sure it's charged properly. That and I like to charge it. I have a problem. Looks like clean, drinkable water. Please. Go away. I know, you don't like me. I get it. All this time I thought I was extremely likable. I think I'm speaking for myself on that line. Give me your fire thing, but I only can hold five at a time, so it doesn't matter. I praise you, game developers. Your detail of decomposition and gore is quite commendable. Hopefully you'll give me something. 
but you didn't have anything on you except one of those Marty McFly life preserver jackets that they have in Back to the Future. Or that he has in Back to the Future. And they're like, would you jump shit? What do you mean, that life preserver? And he asked for a Pepsi free. And he's like, if you want something free, you can just pay for it. And he's like, I'll just have a tab. If you want a tab, you gotta pay for something. I'm probably horribly misquoting that movie while I'm shooting that beast and I'm almost dead. And as I'm, much as I want to shoot myself up with that heroin that seems to bring me back to life awfully quickly, even though it's probably like adrenaline or something, but we're gonna call it the heroin for the sake of really poorly thought out comedy and we're gonna stick to that. Turn on my light, not my watch, because I'm getting dyslexic. Let's push triangle, switch to your weapon. Why you gotta eat him like that? I don't even like you. Uh, he's got bullets, but they don't, are the assault rifle bullets, but they actually don't really work on those guys all that well. You gotta shoot them. Our girls, I really don't know the sexes. They might not have a sex. I don't know. Next time we'll look at the crotchal region, there might just be a random lump with nothing. That might just be because they want a mature rating. I don't know. I like how the light on the controller, the PlayStation 4 actually reacts to the light when you use your lighter. Is this gonna open up like some passageway or something? A lot of times that's how these things go. If you don't like spiders, this isn't your game. All right. I love the way that flame looks. Even in the last gen versions, I thought the flame looked good. I'm sure it's just a sprite like that's animated, but they still did a really good job and I think it looks really good. I think on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, this game still looks amazing. This is run on a different engine. The original versions of this game were a lot darker. What is attacking me now? Uh, how did I know it was going to be you guys? Get away from me. I'm about ready to use that assault rifle just to hold him back. I'm running low on shotgun shells, although 43 is a lot for a shotgun. Hold square to interact with objects. How long does it take to open this fracking door? Long time, apparently. This looks cool. This game almost has like a Tomb Raider or Indiana Jones or Uncharted or anything in that category vibe right now. Do I need to... Yep. I need to grab on to that so I can commence my adventure. I hate roller coasters in real life. They give me motion sickness that I always focus on motion sickness, but they're actually quite terrifying to me. I don't care for them. They actually had a kid here at one of our theme parks, but it was his fault because he didn't 
like I, I don't think he had the latch pulled down all the way or something. He was messing with the thing and he flew out and hit the pavement. There's actually a, one of the people that had a summer job at my high school and had to clean his guts off of the pavement. That was like a day that you probably wouldn't have wanted to get bothered once you got home. That's a day you don't ask, how was your day? Just assume that he's going to want to be left alone or talk to a priest. All right. I don't know what those winged things are, but I'm guessing there's some evolved form of the other guys. Yeah. Suck it. <sighs> Med packs, although I'm maxed out. I was worried I was using them too much, but I guess I used just the right amount. I haven't seen a lot of journals here lately. Maybe I'll find one soon. I'm sure you guys are dying to read something about what's going on. I know I am. Uh, a ramp. This kind of looks like the cave from the Goonies. If you, if you haven't seen the Goonies, you should watch it, even if you're older. I got this Blu-ray that comes with the Gremlins. It was really cheap too. It cost less than a regular price Blu-ray, and it wasn't all forced on one disc, so it was super compressed. There was actually three separate discs, complete with bonuses, and the cheesy Goonies Cindy Lauper video that has all the old wrestlers, which I actually really enjoy. Reminds me of the old music video days. They're filmed on like crappy video. Oh shit, if I don't get out of the way, something bad's gonna happen. I guess sometimes you gotta use the assault rifle when it gets tough. But no, it came with Gremlins, Gremlins 2, and the Goonies. Which is awesome. They were talking about making a second Goonies with all the kids are like in their 40s and shit. It'd be an interesting movie unless it's their kids. But that movie had a style as all the movies did back then that I don't think can be emulated in the exact same way. Although, there's that J.J. Abrams movie that came out about like the aliens and he did an actually really good job of emulating like the way like Richard Donner or Steven Spielberg would send a movie the way he directed it and recorded the kids dialogue and how they talked over each other and stuff like that so Richard Donner is not to it I'm sure J.J. Abrams could but I think he's probably obligated to make 15 Star Wars movies, which I also don't mind because I think you could do a good job on that as well. Uh, you guys are like the alligators that people flew, flush down the toilet. Get away from me. I didn't think I'd have to use all my bullets on you guys, but I think it sounds like I'm using more bullets than I actually am. Get away from me. Son of a bitch. Alright guys, I think I'm going to stop there. I think you've seen enough. I don't want to beat the game. Like I said, I don't know if I have the skill, but I know these PlayStation 4 videos are in a different format, but I honestly don't have any other way to film the PlayStation 4. This is um, the Metro Redux compilation available on PC, Xbox One. And, of course, the PlayStation 4. Amazing game. You should run to the store and buy it now if you like first-person shooters or just something different that has a cool atmosphere. But, um, yeah, and if you don't have a next-gen system or you have a decent PC, 
like you can also check out the originals unfortunately metro 2033 was not available on the playstation 3 but you can get both games on the original xbox 360 which are still nice ports and look really nice but of course pc is the best but i mean i I believe from what i heard you gotta spend quite a bit of money on a graphics card to get the most out of the game and i heard the redux version runs on a different engine but i'm rambling this isn't gonna be the permanent format for the channel it's just when i record PlayStation 4 videos. This is the best I can do. So you'll see the Mikey's Video Game Madness cartoon again and where I introduce the videos and you'll see the older PlayStation 3 videos and you'll have better audio quality that isn't filmed through like a set of headphones. I'll actually use the microphone. So don't get discouraged that this is the permanent format. It's just what I'm playing right now. And it's easier for me to play and enjoy a game and share it with you at the same time. Because I felt like playing games instead of kind of reviewing them right now. So I just figured it'd be a fun experience just to play the game or watch while I'm playing it. I know that sounds really selfish. But anyway, guys, still 360 Wii, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 3 games in the original format as well. Just every once in a while, it'll be a PlayStation 4 game trickled in in this format unless I get like some new recording device but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and if you like this video could you ever so kindly click the like button and leave a comment positive or negative just if you leave a negative comment don't leave a shitty one make sure the criticism is constructive I definitely again can't stress enough how much I really like this game and I think that if I if you asked me and I was like a employee at like a store that sold games and you happen to have like a system that could play one of these games or play the compilation I would definitely recommend playing this game if you like these types of games but um thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed already I would really appreciate your subscription but If that's not what you choose to do, I appreciate you watching and I appreciate the people that have subscribed watching and supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you on the next video. Unless you don't subscribe and don't give a shit about my channel, then it was nice meeting you. Alright, take care. Bye.